Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In a few minutes, we're going to show you some rock and roll music of the Bristol Hercules engine. 2,350 cubic inches, 1,700 horsepower at takeoff settings. We only run this up to about 1,400 RPM, but I'm going to tell you, when it goes only to 50% power, it's going to knock your socks off. But now, I want to make a presentation before we start. About a year, a little over a year ago, when we ran the Bristol Hercules, our first running engine for the Halifax bomber, we were running it on an engine stand on little casters. And yes, this is a darling for exhibiting to all of you the power and the, uh, the heroics of our bomber crews. This is what the Halifax bomber had in it, was the Bristol Hercules engine, four of them. Same size as the Lancaster bomber. When we ran it on the engine stands, Brian of Falcon Industries came up and said, my dad and I are building commercial trailers, and we can build you a custom trailer to play your rock and roll music with your Hercules. So, Falcon Industries in Fort McLeod, they came up, measured all our engine mounts, everything. They built us this beautiful twin axle double trailer. We can go to air shows, and we can go to gatherings, and we can show you what our young Canadians flew, where their horsepower was, where their sword of freedom was powered, and we're all thankful for our freedom today. You heard the music of the Merlins. Now we're going to show you about the Hercules and the power. Uh, what I'd like to do is present this beautiful Halifax print that's framed down here by the propeller. I'd like to present it to Brian and Brian, your father, and all the guys at Falcon Industries. This is just a small token of appreciation for this wonderful trailer and this is going to be seen by thousands of Albertans and hopefully beyond. This is what it was all about. The sights, the sounds, the smells. And so, Brian, would you come forward and I'll present you with the Halifax print. Come this what way. What we did... Come, Carl, come this, come this way a little bit. Yep. What we did was... This is the Halifax that's deep underwater okay. off the Great. west coast of Ireland we're trying to recover and bring to Nanton. And I found 11 men that flew this airplane in combat in 1944. They were all 80 plus, and I had them sign 500 prints of this Halifax print, and we're selling them to raise money. It's called Invincible Item. And it's the last known Halifax to have survived the war and we're going after it to recover it. But you can see there's 11 signatures there plus the artist's signature, and these are for sale uh, on our website and at the museum. But Brian, thank you so much for your uh, wonderful expertise at Falcon Industries and making us this trailer, and we're gonna share this history thanks to your trailer with so many people. So thanks again. Brian. Just to, to, yeah, that's what I want. So we'll just do the preparatory work for starting the Hercules and we're going to run it to three, about 320 degrees on the cylinder head temperature and then we'll shut it down. But remember, whether it's Merlins or Hercules, this is the sound of freedom. Can you imagine at a Canadian bomber field in England, 20 bombers on this side of the field with four, each bomber running four of these engines and 20 bombers on the other side of the field all lined up to uh, attack tyranny. 80 of these engines on one side of the field and 80 of these engines on the other side of the field, 160 engines 
running at the same time by 21-year-olds <laughs> with 10,000 pounds of bombs and 8,000 liters of gas. Think of this running at just 50% power. We're not going to run it any more than think of 160 of these. That's the sound of power and that's the sound of Canadian freedom.